Hello, nerdlings. Hiya. Hey, guess what? What? Here's the mail. It's never lame because it's full of retro games. And we cannot wait to play. Lloyd's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. I like that. That's why you, uh, I will make you, you get find this clues and get retro games. Yeah. All right. So, VGM is the monthly subscription box where you get to choose the games that you want by filling out an online wish list to avoid any duplicates for the systems that you choose, and they send them right to your house or wherever you want them sent, and you get to keep them. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. How many games do we usually get? We have a three game list, but we very rarely ever get three games. And there's no complaints with that. No, we usually always get at least a one up, if not a two up. I think once we've got like a three or four up. I, I think there's like some spaces on these shelves. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, keep sending so, all the So, experts. you know, VGM, if you want to do like a five up, you know, <laughs> I mean, we won't complain. <laughs> all right. Well, let's jump right in there and see what we got. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Although this one's looking a little crushed. This is kind of like your uh, loot crate My from the other day. My loot crate. So, so, as she was saying, we did get a 1-Up. One one so up, we will have up. four awesome games in here. And we got a card that says, Win three free games. Simply oh. share a photo of this month's box on your Facebook page. Or on our Facebook page. Two random winners will receive three free games in next month's box. Nice. Well, we we share pictures all the time, so uh, yeah. does that mean we automatically win? Nice. And then there's the typical <laughs> card that we always get. So the card is there to remind you to update that list so you do not get any duplicates. Yes. And I think I've messed that up once or twice. So. Yeah. It's, it's good that they fault. send a yeah. reminder, but it, it still should probably be due to my head. <laughs> we got a door hanger. Okay. And it says, do not disturb. I'm playing with my joystick. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Come on, guys. Not going to be playing with your joystick that much. You'll go blind and... You'll run out of lotion and you'll, tissues. You won't be able to hold the controller because of all the hair on your palms. <laughs> that is great. Haven't we gotten a door I, hanger from them before? I think it had Floyd on it. Yes, yes. I feel like it, it just had Floyd, had Floyd but, yeah. uh, this but this is great, too. Yeah. I love that. It's a shame we don't actually have a door to our game rooms. They're all like, hall, <laughs> That's like you know, doorways. I also love that it is an Atari joystick. Yes. Uh, quick story, me and a couple of friends, we used to play the game Decathlon on Atari, or uh, Activision's Decathlon. <laughs> and it was one of those games where one of the, uh, one of the events in it, you had to basically <laughs> jiggle your joystick as fast as you could. And this of course, is very quickly becoming NSF. <laughs> and of course, because the uh, the Atari joysticks would just absolutely murder your palm. I mean, those things would like bore a hole through yeah, it if you try to do that too long. You would off. always have it on your leg, and you would start moving it real fast. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want someone making a gif out of it. Oh, <laughs> like our music man. Oh, if Peter were here, we'd totally have him do it. Or, um, what was Justin's code name? Like, Red Five? Red Five. Yeah. Red Five! Alright, so five. let's get to the games. We, no, we got one more thing. Oh my gosh, man, they packed up Yeah, they did. Guns. Look at that. So we got a little, a nice little bracelet. And the cool thing about this bracelet, it has their slogan, Play to Pass Into the Future. But they also have various controllers on there. There's a different one right there, like a typical controller. And yeah, a little joystick cool. controller. I like that. And personally, these are a little cooler than the uh, Live Strong bracelets that everybody was wearing for a while <laughs> back. Yeah, people were wearing them just to be cool. I'm waiting for them to do a snap bracelet. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, That's guys. That's very, like, retro yeah. snap bracelets. And apparently the 90s are coming back. Play the past so... into the future. Just snap that on there. Yeah. All right. First are things there more first. Goodies? Nope, that's all the goodies. Okay. We have a Super Femicom. Sweet. This was a little oh. rough on the back. Oh wow! It was it's a little uh... rough. It looks like it was buried in the mud, like clay. Like 
I don't know this... if anyone's familiar with Missouri, but we don't have <laughs> dirt, we have red clay. And this looks like it's been buried in our red clay. And, and before you think that clay is very much fun, it's loaded no. with rocks. Yeah. Um, this does very much look like that. But honestly, I feel like that's just saying that this game got a lot of love. Yeah. And how could it not? It is Super Mario World. I've always loved the uh, the Japanese version of this because it says right on there, Super Mario Brothers for Super Mario World. Is it? So it is the fourth game. Oh, it does. It does say that on it. It's got Yoshi. And I always love the logo or the uh, the picture on yeah, this a lot so better like a than giant, what we got because yeah, it's the world. It's a Mario world. We're just going to keep the uh, Mario Yoshi thing That's... going. We got a Game Boy me. game. Ooh. It's a little, so we got tiny Yoshi. Yoshi. Nice. Little tiny Yoshi. Little puzzle little game. Oh, nice job. I didn't and uh, I've played a lot of Yoshi. I played it on NES, but it's actually a very fun puzzle game. Is it? Uh, it's kind of, well, no, actually it's not. It's very much its own thing. Hmm. I was about to say it's kind of like Yoshi's Cookie, but then the Yoshi's hmm. Cookie is the matching one. I think I was thinking Yoshi's Cookie yeah. because we, we got that and you stole it. I mean to keep playing. I like but Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi is a lot of fun. Um, Yoshi! You can fill the eggs. Yoshi's get little bloopers on there. Well, now we get to speed into some things and drive around to the next game. So a racing game? Uh-huh. Around the USA. Ooh, nice. Cruising! Which is really Cruising USA. funny because yeah. in uh, Nixa there's a um, Steak and Shake style restaurant called Cruising USA. Is there really? Yeah. Why have you not taken me? I don't know. <laughs> um, I did not play a lot of cruising games. I guess this isn't custard at... and hamburgers. <laughs> but I did not play a lot of cruising games at home, but I did play them in the arcades all the time. Oh man, they were so fun with the, uh, the bikini girls waving the checkered flag. But, uh, you know, you got your boost going where you like double tap that gas pedal and you have like the I think I think on some of them you'd have like the flames come out of the <laughs> nice. tailpipes. All I can think of when you said the bikini girls waving the flags is Grease. I don't know how many people <laughs> are familiar with Grease, but when she pulls the handkerchief out from between her bosom and waves it and then the other girls are like, Where'd she get that? A lock of hair from her chest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah. so this will be a lot of fun. And of course Nintendo sixty four, which means Multiplayer, Yay! which uh, get a couple of controllers, race a game with your friends on the 64. That's you mean back in the day when video games encouraged socialization <laughs> as opposed to nowadays when they oh, encouraged it's, solitude? It's still that. It's just online. We can all be jerks to one another uh -huh. a lot easier. We got a Nintendo game. <laughs> Holy this is a cow. whole Nintendo yeah. Yeah. pack I didn't, this I wasn't time. Even thinking this about one's that. in really good condition. Nice. Look at this. Mighty Bomb Jack. He's a... Uh, he looks like a basketball Thor. Like Thor. Basketball <laughs> Thor. He definitely has like a superhero look to him. He's got... Uh, looks like a line of bombs blasting him from the pyramids. I need to look at this one more time. So yeah, he's blasting from the pyramids, past the chest, guarded by the parrot on the floating island. Wow. And if that's any indication of what kind of game you're in for with Mighty Bomb Jack. I don't think I've played that before. I've never seen that one before. So, I don't think I've played Mighty Bomb Jack. I'll definitely have to check it out and see if I remember it or not. But, uh, of course, I can't think of bombs on the NES without thinking of Bomberman. So, let me know, nerdlings, who would win in a bomb battle. Ooh. Mighty Bomb Jack or Bomberman? Off just just knowing what you know, you think Bomberman? He's he's got the history behind him. He's definitely got the experience. He probably knows what he's doing a little more. Of course, a Mighty Bomb Jack, like you said, he looks he, like looks he like does. a basketball he looks like a Thor. Weird <laughs> Thor, like reaching for a basketball, <laughs> shooting baskets. So this was great. This um, was a good one. A lot. A lot of fun games mm -hmm. here. I mean, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to Mighty Bomb Jack. Love the cruising series. Always had a lot of fun with the Yoshi games. And, I mean, Super Mario World. That That's probably one of my favorite Mario games. If not my favorite Mario game it's got of Yoshi all time. Games, I don't care. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've shared with you, nerdlings, fun fact, but the very first world, all of Yoshi's Island, every stage in Super Mario World, I was so bored as a kid one time and I had done everything else <laughs> in the game, I took my TV and I turned it upside down and I beat the whole first world. And then I felt kind of sad about doing that, so I think I went outside and played. That's one of those <laughs> issues, you know, that when you don't have a lot of games to play and you're too far away from the video rentals. Store. That's true. <laughs> you gotta or, go with something to do. Or, you kids don't know how easy you have it nowadays with, with your Mario Maker and your 10 billion stages. Oh, man. I was just going to say the online. That. But Just being able to get online and download a new game. That's Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say, VGM freaking knocked it out of the park this time because this was a great box. Well, I actually wanted to say a quick kudos to VGM because I noticed that um, you had mentioned that you'd read a, a negative review of VGM like last month or something about someone how they were complaining about how their games were just thrown in the box and they didn't seem to care or whatnot. Well, I noticed this time, I don't remember if that's ever been there before, but I paid more attention this time. But uh, we got a nice bubble wrap layer in here that bubble wrapped everything together and it, you know went under the bottom and wrapped over the top. So mm -hmm. if they didn't do that before, they did it this time, and it's very clear that VGM reads your guys' reviews and pays attention and listens. And there's something else in the bottom <laughs> of the box. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's from the... Uh... Oh, the uh, punch out of that. Okay. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to say kudos for, you know, hearing what people are saying and, yes, yeah, and answering job. it. You know, they're like, hey, you think we didn't do something right? We're going to fix it. So they fix and it. And that's always great business sense, no matter what business you're in. Yes. Uh, VGM's also very good about... And, oh, my gosh. They, they're not paying us. I no, they really we're, we're are. We are them, not affiliated but, with uh, VGM whatsoever. I really do enjoy how quick they are at getting back to people. And I have, you know, other than like reviews mm -hmm. like that, I have seen them reply to comments and stuff on, on other videos and posts. Um, if people get doubles, they flat out tell them, you know, well, hey, let us know, you know, send us a private message and we'll take care of that with your next box. Yeah. So uh, they're definitely like a lot of fun to work with we love VGM. and i think i'm just rambling because i'm really excited because these are these are great, great games, games. we're gonna have a lot of fun <laughs> i'm super games. excited to go play some games <laughs> so nerdlings right. we got the bell yeah. we got the subscribe there's comments you can like it fish face fish 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 book fish book and <laughs> facebook and instagram and twitter ding 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 all those bits and pieces let us know in the comments below how do you nerd about your game and let me know who's going to win in a fight, Mighty Bomb Jack or Bomberman. Let's go play some games. Boom! <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. I'm exploding all over the place. Boom! 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 <laughs>